My name is Mr. Medin, they call me Mr. M, and today we're going to be going over fixed KV technique charts versus variable technique charts. So there's two that we use. So we'll get started with the, we'll get started with variable KV. So variable KV, excuse my, my writing, but variable KV means exactly that. You're changing the KVP. So for variable KV technique charts, it's going to be 2 kV per centimeter of body part thickness. So if you increase, if you increase your body part thickness, well obviously you're going to have to go up in technique. So in this case, we're going to go up in kV. So let's say we have, I'll give you an example, we have chest x-rays. The average dimension for a chest, if you were to measure from front to back, is 20 centimeters, for example. Now if the body part uh, was more than that, then obviously you'd have to go up in KVP, correct? So let's say 20 centimeters, let's say it was 100 KVP. Well, if you had a body part that measured 22 centimeters, we just said that it was 2 KV per centimeter. So what it would be, let's say, for example, I'm going to do it the long way just to show you, 21 centimeter, it'd go to 102 KV because it's 2 KV per centimeter. If you're at 22 centimeters, it'd go to 104 kV. There's a quicker and an easier way to do this, and you can just take the difference, right? So the difference between 20 centimeter and 2 is going to be 22 is 2. So you'd, you'd multiply 2 kV times 2 centimeters, you get 4, right? So you're adding 4 kV to 104 to 100, and that'll give you 104 kVp. So this is going to be variable kV technique charts. So this one's very easy to use. It's two kV per body part thickness. So very variable kVp, the mass stays the same. So you're just changing the kVp. So this works really great when you just wanna make small incremental changes to your kV. Now, as you know, when you change the kVp, you also can change the scale of contrast, but we'll do a separate video for that. But I just wanna show you guys exactly what happens with variable kVp in terms of technique charts. Now, the opposite is also true, all right? So let's say you have a body part thickness that is two centimeters smaller. Well, instead of adding, you're gonna be subtracting, all right? So now again, you have the difference between 18 and 20 centimeters is two. So you're gonna be going down four kVp. So if you have a body part that's at 20 centimeters that uses 100 kV, now you're gonna to have to subtract. So at 18 centimeters, you're gonna be using 96 kV. All right, so it can go either up or down, okay? So I like to use variable KV um, instead of having to use uh, uh, fixed KV because with fixed KV, um, the fixed KV, it stays the same, but you have to go up and down in mass. And you guys know that uh, when you go up and down in mass, you, you, you're, when you go up in mass, you're having to use an increase of exposure for the patient. So, but again, it's all a, it's all a, you know, we use the term Goldilocks, right? It has to be just right. It has to be a right, perfect recipe for your technique. So now what I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be fixed KV. So exactly what the term means, fixed KV. The KVP or the KV stays constant. So what does that mean? If it stays constant, it doesn't change. So what changes is your mass. So your mass will change, all right? So obviously, it's gonna go up body part thickness as well. So if you go up in body part thickness, you're gonna to have to go up in mass, correct? And if your body part thickness goes down, you're gonna to have to go down in mass. So there's a, there's a rule that tells, well, exactly by how much. Well, the measurement is going to be four to five centimeters, depending on what books you read. Some books will say just five centimeters. Some will say four to five centimeters. So I'll use the range for today's explanation. So if you go up in body part thickness, let's say four to five centimeters in body part thickness, then you have to double your mass. Okay, so you'd have to double your mass. So for an example, if you had 20 centimeters and you had five mass and now it's jumping to 24 centimeters well we just said for every four to five centimeters you would have to double your mass correct so your new mass would be 10 mass all right so 
let's say you go to 28 centimeters. I'm just using these numbers, you know, for as an example. See, they're all hypothetical. So if you go from 24 centimeters to 28 centimeters, again, you're jumping from four to five centimeters, you gotta double the mass. So then the mass is gonna to jump to 20 mass. All right, so this is gonna be a fixed KV technique chart. So fixed KV technique charts are great because they're always using optimal KV. But let's say you don't wanna have a low uh, contrast or a longer scale contrast. Let's say you wanna go ahead and have short scale. Well, you may not be able to do that because you're always using optimal KV. Now, one of the benefits of using optimal KV is that you're always gonna have higher KV and lower mass, so it's less patient dose, but again, you're trying to find that proper balance between the quanti quantity of x-rays and the quality of the x-ray going through the object. So the opposite is that is true, and I put these numbers here on purpose because look, if you're at 28 centimeters and you're using 20 mass, and now the body part thickness is decreasing, you're gonna go ahead and divide. So I'm gonna write this on the board too. If the body part thickness is decreasing, then so does your mass. Again, the KV staying the same, it's staying fixed. So if you go down for every four to five centimeters, then you're gonna to have to half your mass. You're gonna divide by two. All right, so you're gonna half your mass now, I get some students that say, Mr. Armistead, dividing by two, can you just multiply it by 0.5? And that's correct, you can also do that. Whichever is more uh, uh, easier for you to understand, you can go ahead and instead of dividing it by two, you can just multiply it by 0.5, you're still gonna get a half of your mass when you do that. So, <clears throat> again, these are the two technique charts that we're working with in the field. So depending upon where you go, at your clinical setting, at your hospital, uh, at your imaging site, you know, urgent cares or, you know, doctor's offices or, you know, wherever you're working at, you're going to have a technique chart and the technique charts can, can either be fixed or, or variable KV systems. Again, this is related to your ART outline. I want to emphasize that again. Everything is there on the content specifications on the ART outline. This is just taken from this. And again, if you go through the ART outline for everybody that's getting ready to take the ART exam, Everything is there. We just have to follow the outline. Outline, And my goal eventually is to do a video on every little section of that ART outline to help you pass that exam. All right, so um, that's it for right now. And uh, we'll stop right here and we'll do another video and we'll do another video on IR exposure related to additive and destructive pathologies. Okay, thank you.